In this episode, I explore an old fort, tell you about the fauna of Australia, I get stuck in a prison, climb through cliffs, see dolphins, explore amazing places including hills, rock formations, and waterfalls, and I become the next David Attenborough. Hello everybody, I'm here in Belmore Park, and I'm on my way to go see some old fort somewhere. I'm getting on the bus, and 45 minutes later, I arrive in the south part of Sydney at Bear Island. This exact destination is where Captain James Cook of Great Britain arrived on August 22nd in the year 1770. He sailed across the Pacific Ocean and arrived in Sydney. He is said to have discovered Australia even though there were many Aboriginal people living in Australia thousands of years ago. Bear Island was built to be a coastal defense for unwanted visitors. It's a fort where you can clearly see the coastline and it has many cannons on top of it. James Cook discovered this part of Australia. They built this fort to keep enemies out. And uh, there are a lot of cannons. There are many secret concrete rooms and most likely they kept people captured inside the rooms. I did nothing. I just visited the fort and now I'm on my way down to go snorkeling. The landscape in the surrounding areas next to the fort are very amazing and there are cool rock formations and beaches. A lot of people go to the beach next to the fort to enjoy the nice water temperature and sand. There are many interesting cliff formations along the coast. You can also see dolphins in the area. Unfortunately, there will be no snorkeling today. My snorkeling is not in that great of a shape. There are many other interesting places in the Sydney area. Fitzroy Falls is located just one hour south from Sydney. Victoria Park, downtown Sydney, is one of many amazing parks in the Sydney area and there are many interesting birds to watch. Here we have four females waiting for the most dominant male to approach. There is one male candidate sneaking around in the bushes and checking out the female. The male is now confused, twisting and turning his head. Here we have two other females standing on one leg to signal to the males that they are available. Now the male is trying a different technique, standing on one leg. The females show no sign of interest for a shy male. Now he's raising his neck to show dominance and he's twitching his beak. But there are two cockadoos disturbing the male's preparations. The females are now flying away and the male is left alone, confused and miserable. Next time, he has to strike quickly. Let's 
Sydney Funnelweb spider is the most venomous spider in the world, and it can kill humans from just one bite. In Victoria Park, there's also an outdoor pool that I go to sometimes to relax. Please follow me on social media and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.